You know, I was doing all these things to try to be like other people because I thought that's how, you know, I should be. But then as I started letting all that stuff go over time, um, you know, things started getting better and better and better over time as I got more, you know, confident and as I just got more comfortable being on camera and, and most importantly, more comfortable just being myself. There's this one thing that happened to you that really changed everything for you to be more natural. What was that one like lesson that you learned? For me, it was from going from scripting my content out to running off of bullet points. Yeah. And the reason for that is because the method that I used when I would script is I would literally write down everything. I would I would insert jokes. I would, you know, I would write out everything, pause here, you know, like that kind of stuff. But basically I wrote out the entire scripts, but as I was communicating in my videos and I was, you know, reading from the scripts, the method I used was like a read and recite to where I would, you know, read the line, look at the camera and then say whatever it is and then read another line, look at the camera and say whatever it is, however many times I needed to say it without screwing it up. The problem is, is when I was communicating, instead of communicating like I communicate, I'm thinking of, am I saying the things in the right order? Am I saying the things that, that, that I just read? Am I saying, you know, this how it needs to be said instead of just communicating the way that I communicate? And for me, it was a big difference, such a big difference, in fact, that, um, that our friend Brian G. Johnson, he actually sent me a message on Facebook um, when I published uh, one of the other videos. So basically I was writing scripts for all of that time. Yeah. And then I made three videos actually off script to where I just use bullet points for practice. They never got published, but I did them for practice just so I could, you know, kind of start working that muscle. And then I published the first one and people immediately responded to that video better in terms of audience retention. Um, Brian G. Johnson reached out and he was like, dude, whatever you just did in that last video, you nailed it. So just keep <laughs> doing that. But I could even feel it. Like when I made the content, I felt great when I was making the content. I had more energy when I was making the content. It, it was my first venture into letting myself just be myself instead of, like when I first started the channel, let me back up a little bit. So basically when I first started the channel, um, my very first video was about overcoming camera shyness because I, I was afraid, terrified to be on camera. So I wore makeup and all this stuff. I wore, you know, I like dressed up for it and all this yeah. stuff. I'm gonna help you break through your camera shyness once and for all. And then as the as the process continued on, like it, it's interesting how like part of the growth process on YouTube for me was also part of letting go of all of that, that, that perception of what I think that I wanted people to think about me, like letting go of that and embracing the unique side of YouTube, which is what people will actually relate to and resonate with, but in embracing the relatable part of YouTube, which is like, you know what, let me just do me. And some people are gonna dig it, some people are not, but I'm just gonna do me and then we'll see how that works out, right? So it's just interesting how, you know, when, when I first started the channel, I was like terrified. And then, you know, I was doing all these things to try to be like other people because I thought that's how, you know, I should be. But then as I started letting all that stuff go over time, as I started getting more and more comfortable, um, you know, things started getting better and better and better over time as I got more, you know, confident. And as I just got more comfortable being on camera and, and most importantly, more comfortable just being myself. Now I don't care, right? Like I'll show a close up of my face with like a blemish if I have it, like I don't care, right? You know, just as people, we have this in our brains of, you know, what we think that, um, how we think maybe the world views us or how we want the world to view us. When you can just kind of let all that stuff go and say, you know what, instead of thinking I'm going to cater myself to how the world, how I want the world to view me, I'm just gonna be me. And then I'm gonna connect with the people that are into that instead of connecting with this thing that I'm trying to create that's not really a real true version of myself, if that makes any sense.